know this is a different background, but like I said, I wanted to give you guys more vlogs rather than just sitting in front of a camera. That way you can get to know me better. Right now I'm just going through my closet and I thought it was like the perfect time to film a YouTube video. So I'm going to be organizing. I apologize for not making, you know, direct contact, eye contact with you guys. But I'm preparing for a move that I'm very excited for because I look at it as a new chapter. And I always say perspective matters because it's all how you view things and how you see things. And determining where you're going to go in life and I'm just sitting here going through the things that I want to keep in this move and things that I want to take away hold on okay I'm back so I just needed some water so I'm just going through my closet and seeing what I want to take with me and what I want to get rid of as a fresh start and I truly believe in letting things go so that new things can come your way and one of the things I wanted to work on next as I'm elevating myself and becoming the woman that I want to be is working on my wardrobe. So I'm just going through things and seeing what no longer serves me as far as style, pieces, just being more, I don't want to say conservative because... You know, I'm still going to add my little, my little taste to it, but just being, you know, more modest in the sense, not being so showy, but in ways that are still stylish and still can be sexy. So that's what I'm trying to tap into. But I just look at like who I'm about to become as I'm building and as I'm working towards this person. And it just gives me so much hope. It excites me. It makes me feel like there's so many possibilities with this new chapter of getting to experience something new again and in a different perspective, especially of what I see now. Yeah, these are probably going. <laughs> but this next chapter, it's just being intentional with becoming the higher version of myself mentally physically because I do need to get consistent in the gym. I know that I'm very small but just eating healthier, better quality foods and products and my stamina is just trash so I need to work on cardio so there's like multiple reasons why I want to get into fitness. Everybody's like, you don't need to lose any more weight. You're already skinny enough, blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's deeper than that. Like it's a lifestyle of absolutely looking your best because I know I look good now, but I know I can look better. Just look at everything as a positive, as an opportunity and just let your mind create off of that. And if it gets you excited, if it gets you happy, keep following it. Keep going that route. I said it before and I'll say it again. We know the answers and where we need to be and where we want to be and how to get there. But it's like you're not going to really realize that until you get out of your own way and to be able to stick with it and and move with it and grow with it and stretch with it that you're going to become better because if you can't stick with the discomfort you're you're not allowing yourself much mobility and flexibility to grow so that's why it's just very important to just trust ourselves and what it is that we want for ourselves because only we know best we shouldn't be moving off of the opinions of others on what they think you should do with your life. Yeah, you can. They can give guidance. They can. They can definitely serve support for you, 
but just be mindful of people that honestly the best piece of advice that I heard was don't take advice from anybody who life you do not like aspire to be like if they don't motivate you if they don't inspire you don't listen to them because they're just not seeing things from what you see and not saying there's anything wrong with that they're just lost within themselves so you can't follow another lost person you have to know what's best for you and how you're going to get yourself there and understanding who you are in order to become better because if you're not aware then you're asleep and then just years will pass you by and then you'll start to come to realization sooner than later and it's always better sooner to correct what you need to correct to be intentional with what it is that you're trying to achieve in life and go for it this is a skirt by the way <laughs> oh my goodness never wore it out either like i'd be dressing for myself in the house because i know i look good but i don't be wanting to wear it out i'm just growing from who you used to be you know shedding that version of you that person of you so that you can become better and grow from your mistakes things that you're you know you you know decisions that you've made in the past that you're not happy about you have to forgive yourself for that you just have to and move on from it and that alone allows you to become more confident in your journey and where you're trying to be and overcoming yourself and just healing yourselves because as long as we're trying to do better become better you know getting getting focused and putting actions behind our words is when we're gonna see the difference it takes a lot of strength to forgive yourself you know you're your worst critic but you just have to let that go and just focus on becoming better any a mistake that you're aware of just say i'm gonna do better next time i'm gonna do better i learned from this i'm gonna do better and always being consciously aware of doing better in everyday little acts if you're short-tempered the world is going to test you <laughs> you're short tempered the world is going to test you but it's how you respond matters are you you know growing from things are you really growing from things and it's only if you're intentional with wanting to change your behavior you can't just keep saying i want to work on my anger and every time you're tested you fail it's tests you're asking for these tests you got to be aware that they're tests and be consistent enough with it that you grow from it that you really heal that bad habit i'm so focused on where i want to go and I always, I told myself that I wanted to get more into vlogging, so now I'm trying the vlog style, and I hope you guys like it. Only because I'm also about to shed into a new chapter on my YouTube channel. You know? Now I'm really being intentional with what it is that I want and where I want to be in life. And not holding myself back or being afraid to put myself out there because of past experiences, past traumas, trying to just hinder the growth that I've always seen within myself. And as long as we're trying to grow and as long as we're trying to do better and make better decisions, that's all that matters. And practicing it so much that it becomes a good habit all around and you become that person who's healed from things that they went through. And now I'm just focused on organizing the closet and I'm getting there. I need to go shopping so bad. 
and I cannot wait for the next chapter because like I said I'm getting back into fashion fashion is another passion of mine so I'm excited to be able to create more in that aspect create my life create my YouTube channel focus on my journey and just getting me to where I want to be with no noise just me and God so tell me why I got this skirt and it remind me of like that 90s runway I know you all have seen the video a 90s runway where like there's the two girls and they're kind of like beefing, play beefing with each other on the runway and one's in like gold and the other one's in silver because I really like that gold outfit I wanted to recreate it so I bought like this bluish sequin skirt and getting like a I want to say like a silk fitted blouse to like perfectly fit over the skirt and lay like just a, so a little peak of the glitter is showing I don't know that that outfit lives rent free in my head and I've always wanted to recreate it so I'm holding on to this skirt to make the look. I just haven't found the blouse yet, but I trust that she's coming someday. I have so many ideas of outfits in my mind just to be creative with. Because it's mostly car, mental health, spiritual journey, lifestyle is what I want my, my channel to be about. So just being a bit more personable with you. But also my separate videos with mental health to help you guys focus on yours and how you can practice the necessary habits and, and, and mental work that you have to put in to get to this level, to get to this point. So I'll probably always have my standalone mental health videos and some vlogging with like all my other passions. Probably not in a separate channel because I want everything to be under one, but I'll figure out how to organize all that later, but that's the next thing I'm focusing on and just being intentional, living more intentionally in my everyday life and being focused and I am so proud of myself, you guys. So for this month, as you know, or if you don't know, I'm in car sales, so I just been in car sales for about two months now to no it's like three it's like three but really two and I'm doing so good so April I finished that month at nine and a half cars today we're May what 26 and I'm at 16 cars and yesterday which was a Saturday um, we had a busy day so I hat trick so if you don't know what a hat trick is it's when you sell three cards in one day and then you get an additional like spiff money for getting the hat trick I just didn't have that belief in myself that I could do that and the fact that I did it I'm just so proud of myself because I'm I'm amazed at what I can accomplish and I think when we don't focus on always running 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 to the next thing and take a moment to just appreciate the present that we're in right now you notice how much you've accomplished and what you've overcome and that just like gives you your confidence back if you're ever forgetting who it is that you are and what you're capable of just always remember how far you've come think back to past experiences that you've grown from that you've changed from you're going to give yourself so much credit and that confidence then reboosts you up and make you feel great so i had tricked i sold three cars in one day and i am beyond proud of myself at 16 cars one of the reasons i got into sales was personal development and you know overcoming my fears and just just getting over myself basically and i just felt like <clears throat> sales allowed me to overcome a lot of fear within myself so achieving financial freedom and figuring out how i'm gonna get there and of course being intentional and putting the work to actually get myself there because there's a difference between learning something and being aware of something and actually practicing it and wanting it to become a part of you it takes work to build that habit that and that muscle but just sticking with the discomfort again you're going to overcome that mental obstacle and you'll be able to allow so much more come to you because you're trusting yourself you you're believing that you can and you're able and you're proving to yourself that you can because 
once you put your mind to it and the work behind it, you're doing it. It's going to happen. And that's what I realized when I went into car sales. I also love cars. So in my head, I was like, I want to learn sales and I love cars. Car sales. And it only requires a little bit of investment. And of course, your time behind it and your intention to want to be good at something, to actually learn it, to become good at it. That's what made me take that leap from accounting to car sales is just fully trusting myself that I'm going to be good at this I'm going to get this this is going to become me I'm going to become that version of myself and I I'm doing it just three months in but I'm just super proud of myself because there's a version of that I see myself and I've envisioned it for so long that I feel it's now coming to fruition so I'm very excited for this next chapter and letting shedding this chapter of Las Vegas and starting somewhere new starting all over again and taking what I've learned here to become a better person in this next chapter to be intentional to correct my wrongs to make peace with myself forgive myself and just move forward and let the past go of everything that I don't want to be everything I I no longer serving me clothes locations environments I'm focused on just becoming the best version of myself and once you start to just focus on that better that's when you start to attract it and you become it because you're practicing it everything takes practice and once you get over that mental battle and that mental hump and release everything, your mind expands so far, possibilities are endless, and that is why I feel like we are infinite. And just as the universe, there's so many opportunities, so many versions of us that we're constantly shedding and rebirthing into, and it's always important to reassess yourself to reinvent yourself and just keep becoming you know that higher and higher and higher to the highest version of yourself i look at it as a chapter of constantly elevating myself and just transcending into that person and I know I'm on the way and I know I'm close and like I said it's not a destination but it's very close until truly unlocking a whole different world of possibilities within that person and that is what I'm looking forward to and I think just when you view things from that perspective it helps a lot to just always keep you optimistic so that you're never giving up on yourself and you're never down on yourself because you can rely on yourself because you've built yourself so much trust belief self-love all the things necessary for growth and I believe decluttering is so important because it allows for so much clarity mm. when you're getting rid of things and letting things go and decluttering your mind and space and environment it allows for so much clarity because you're freeing up space in your mind to see things clear in order to move on and assess from there kind of like all a part of rebranding it allows you to let go of what is no longer to serve you in any aspect shedding it and then moving on to become better let go so you can attract new